Ah, uh, another one in the series of tips on tunes. In the old days, we had to learn various things to play with groups because uh, the, a lot of tunes, there's a, many tunes that you'll play from the old library and the swing library and through that period of time, through the uh, classic period of songs, that will have certain type bridges. Uh, so there were a couple of them that when a guy, when you didn't know the, 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 so, the song you were going to play, the band leader or one of the guys in it would say, well, this song has a certain form, A-A-B-A -A -A form, and the B is the bridge, and the bridge is a, is a it's either a uh, honeysuckle rose bridge, would be one idea, and I'll show you what I mean by that, or sometimes they'd say it's a Sears and Roebuck bridge. I Man, it was very generic. Sears and Roebuck was the generic thing of those days. So anyway, the um, to go back to to uh, A A B A A and A would be eight and eighth. That's alike in the form. B would be the bridge or the release. Some people call it, which is a little different thing. And then to go back to A for the finish could have a little different ending on it or whatever. Some songs, and later along came along A A B C. But anyway, the general old form was A A B A. Now the song may have had a verse different than the idea of the verse and chorus of folk music. The verse was just something that set up the song, and usually done in rubato, out of time, to set up the song as it went on to into the movie or as it went on into Broadway or whatever. <clears throat> but for example. When a guy would say, this song is an A-A-B-A -A -A form and has a honeysuckle rose bridge. Well, honeysuckle rose is an A-A-B-A -A -A form. And it's now normally you could play that all on a C chord. Right, C7 chord. That could all be C. However, generally, Fast Waller would put that G minor 7 before the C. So it would give you that da 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 G minor 7 to C7 idea or da 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 G minor for the C. So if you play it with that in it, you'll play, you'll play, for example, it'll be a G minor chord. And then you go to the C. Right? Now the music goes da bo da bo da da da. Right, it goes back to the uh, and the old music would go to, to a G seven da da C da F. But then the more modern players came along and they would play it be da da be da da be da 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 ba da 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 F F seven B flat B flat minor F. The melody doesn't exactly fit, but it works all right in it. The old one with the G9 is what was really there. Anyway, uh, so there's twice you play that twice, that chorus twice. Then you go into, oh, don't buy sugar. You just have to touch my cup. You're my sugar it's sweet when you stir it up and so this so that bridge basically goes to you're in the key of f basically goes to an f7 ba -da, da da to b flat ba -da, da 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 and then down to g7 da g7 da c7 so that's what came down, that's used in a lot of songs. A zillion of songs will go after their first A, A, the B, will go to that chord, that set of chord changes. So that became what was known to the old school of players as a honeysuckle rose bridge because it was the bridge of honeysuckle rose but it, that chord pattern fit in a million other songs. Now, if you really go back to honeysuckle rose, it goes like, you're my right goes up to the from your my chromatically right right so you could take it da, da, ba, ba, run up to the b flat ba, 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 
from your, so the melody goes up from the B flat to the, now it goes F, minor, uh, F sharp minor 7 to F7 to B flat, then it goes back down to the D minor, da da, da da, that does a diminution there in the melody, and then it goes, ba, 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 ba. now here's a, that melody's a, on a C7, it, instead of the E natural, the melody's the E flat. In there, so it's just what they call. They would use it off of the second, so they would call it a sharp nine chord, because they would use the E flat as not from the E. They'd use it as a D sharp, and then using it as a D sharp would be called a flat a sharp nine. So anyway, they, there's a, a zillion ways you can move those chords again, as I said, and, and generally it's used in chromatics with diminished chords in between or with uh, moving up in minors with scale-wise chords. Uh, you know, if, if you were going up the scale, you know. You can go up in scale. For example, uh, a, a lot of times uh, I use it in my song that that's just it, that's in the key of F and, and da, 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 you know you know da, 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 da. <clears throat> it's going up and down the scale so I use it in uh, when I do my uh, uh, my Indiana song where after the verse it goes into uh, 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 well, forget I said that. I'll work it on that. I'll, I'll show you that when I get the tune out on another time. Uh, let's go on from here. <laughs> 